Horses are on the track for race seven, win place show, exact a trifecta wagering, and elimination for Illinois bred two-year-old trotting colts in the State Fair Colt Stakes. Number one, FF Black Magic is owned by Flocko Family Farms of Alexis, trained by Joel Miller, Ken Holliday is up. That was number two on the monitors, Notorious Buck, owned by Jerry Graham of Salem, J.D. Graham of Fairview Heights, Chris Daniels of Salem, trained by Wade Barbary, Dale Heitman will drive. Three Rapid Rapper, owned by Howard Mathis of Montezuma, Indiana, trained by Mark Carpenter, Colin Willis is up. That was number four, Austin Sleek, owned by Dale Adams of Paris, John David Finn of Newton, trained and driven by J.D. Finn. Here's the five, looking for a job, owned by Lynn Wilfong of Kentland, Indiana, trained by Dirk Simpson, Dave McGee in the bike. Number six, Drew's Wonder Boy, owned by Carl Monte of Depew, New York, by Buddy Simpson of Fairfield, Illinois, trained by Buddy Simpson, his son Clay is the driver. Number seven, varsity player, owned by HBH Standard Breads Incorporated of Warrenville, Illinois, of Homer Hochstetler and Bonnie and Joy Hutchison, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler. And number eight, Was Up Yankee, owned by Mike Titus of Charleston and Stan Holsapple of Toledo, Illinois, trained by Ray Hanna. The driver is Brent Holland. Post time in five minutes. They're off and trotting. Drew's Wonder Boy goes for the lead. Looking for a job is there. Varsity player comes out third. Wasup Yankee is fourth up on the far outside as they enter the first turn. Drew's Wonder Boy goes to the front, gets over toward the rail. Leads looking for a job by a length and a half. Varsity player is parked third. Moves up into second on the outside. Gap of two more lengths back to Dale Heitman and Notorious Buck who settle fourth toward the inside. Then Wasup Yankee is parked fifth. Austin Sleek is sixth. Rapid Rapper is seventh and FF Black Magic is last. 29 and four, the time for the opening quarter. Varsity player was parked for the first quarter, but he makes the top now, leads it by a length and a half. Drew's Wonder Boy second by two and a half, then looking for a job. Two more lengths to Notorious Buck, Was Up Yankee, Austin Sleek, Rapid Rapper, and FF Black Magic trails the field. They move toward the half mile mark. Varsity player leads it by a length. Drew's Wonder Boy second by two, and then comes looking for a job in third. They got the half in a minute, one fifth. Margin of two and a half more to Notorious Buck, who's fourth on the inside of Wasup Yankee, who moves up one position but still parked. And Austin Sleek is in the outer flow behind him, and problems now for the leader. Varsity player gets rough gated at the entry to the far turn and goes off stride. Drew's Wonder Boy takes over the lead. Here comes looking for a job into the second position. Notorious Buck to third. Austin Sleek has to go three wide around a tiring Wasup Yankee midway on the turn. They're stride for stride up front. Looking for a job, challenging Drew's Wonder Boy. Notorious Buck is two lengths away. Three quarters and 131 and three fifths off the last turn. Looking for a job on the outside. Drew's Wonder Boy toward the rail. And Notorious Buck third. Austin Sleek is five lengths off the lead and fourth. Final eighth mile. Drew's Wonder Boy challenged by Notorious Buck on the far outside. Looking for a job between horses. Austin Sleek is fourth. Here comes Notorious Buck. Notorious Buck getting clear to win it. Notorious Buck by just over two lengths. Looking for a job second. Austin Sleek was third. And Drew's Wonder Boy was fourth in two minutes and four fifths. Into the winner's circle for today's seventh race. The unofficial winner, number two, Notorious Buck, Dale Heitman with the winning drive. Notorious Buck is owned by Jerry Graham of Salem, his son J.D. Graham of Fairview Heights, and Chris Daniels of Salem, trained by Quentin Wade Barbary, driven by Ohio native Dale Heitman. It is official now. 2546 is official. Let's move into the winner's circle and talk to co-owner J.D. Graham, J.D., at the State Fair from Fairview Heights, first of all, you grew up in a racing family. Your father is co-owner Jerry Graham. You decided not to become a horseman, but I guess you are in a sense now. What got you involved as an owner? Uh, well, I pretty much grew up here in this grandstand. There were about six or seven of us that ran around from top to bottom for years, and I've just always enjoyed the horses. And uh, finally, when I got a chance to uh, purchase my own with my father, I uh, jumped at the opportunity. And indeed, you're not done yet. You've got a couple of more fine two-year-old trotters coming up. You grew up watching your dad and your uncles win a lot of races here, and you're a winner at the State Fair. J.D., congratulations. Thank you, Kurt. J.D. Graham, he's one of the winning owners from today's seventh race.